Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Hello there. That intro card stayed on too long because I pushed the button and nothing happened. I had to push it like four times. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Hello! Um, today, as always, is Wine Wednesday, which means we're going to look at a game that's not for Linux. It's a Windows game that works on Linux through the power of wine, which is a thing that makes Linux games work. No, Windows games work on Linux. Is there the other way around even a thing? I don't know. Anyway, hello. I look like an angel. There's loads of light coming in. I'm all... I'm all lit up, and I'm not going to go and shut that blind because that involves standing. I'm just here to play video ga video games. I'm like, it's fine. We'll have too much light in this video. Too much backlight. No one cares. I'm a postage stamp in the corner anyway. Anyway, let me get to my actual point here. Needhog 2 is a game I've been looking forward to because everyone seems to hate the art style. I thought this looked just bloody brilliant. I mean, genuinely, I thought this looked amazing. Um, so I really wanted to play it. And uh, a code was sent to me by my good friend Cybrus UK, who is the proprietor of the LinuxGamer.co.uk, which there'll be a link below the video. So thank you to Cybrus for providing me with a game that I really wanted to play, but I was like, I can't justify the vine. It's a Windows game. It might not even work in wine. He's like, no dog, do it. And they like, hand, that was him handing me the code, not punch him in the face. Uh, anyway, thank you to uh, Cybrus UK, the Linux Gamer. Cyber, no, thank you to Cybrus UK, the Linux Gamer, no. .co.uk. I'm babbling. Let's just move on. I'm getting all confused. Um, anyway, Nidhogg 2 is uh, priced at £10.99. Um, it's been out since the 15th of August, so it's not been out long, and I really, really wanted to play it. Um, the Windows requirements, and these are Windows requirements, the, will be higher for Wine, for Linux, obviously. Uh, the minimum is 3 gigahertz dual core, 1 gig of RAM, a uh, GPU with at least 256 megabyte of VRAM. Yeah, whatever. Um, DirectX version 9C, 9.0C. Now, for those of you who don't use a lot of wine, um, this is quite important. DirectX, DirectX version 9.0C is a very popular version of DirectX for a lot of indie games. It's also a good indicator. If your game is DirectX 9.0 or 9, anything really, um, there's a really good chance it'll work in wine. It's like, it's like you know, really good chance. It's not a guarantee, but it's, it's edging your bets your way because... Usually, usually DirectX 9C indicates it's going to work. It is a sequel, obviously, being a 2. I never played the first one, um, but Nidhogg 1 had a starkly different graphic style, but I'm told a very similar gameplay. Now, I didn't play the first Nidhogg here. I, I was like, I like pixels, but I was like, it looks a bit shadowy, and I don't know, it doesn't look that engaging. And I look at this one, and I'm like, this looks fucking glorious, and there's a massive worm artwork, which I love. Um, so, yeah. In order to get the game working in Wine, I used Lutrus. Um, Lutrus is the application that manages your Wine stuffs. And uh, I added it manually by using the Add Game button. I then typed, yeah, I don't know if you just do that. I then typed in the, um, I went and typed in the application ID, which is this number here on Steam, just in there. Type that in there. I put the uh, the game name and the, uh, I put the game name in as well as the release year because, you know, fill in the details where possible. And uh, if I go to configure here, you will see that uh, I have set the wine version to 2.15 staging default, and uh, I've left the prefix on auto. So nothing, nothing particularly weird here. Nothing particularly weird. Um, everything, everything just worked off the bat. And obviously, I already had Steam installed, so it took a little few seconds to start, and then poof. Um, without further ado, there's Nidhogg 2. Now, um, I have problems. I don't know if other people do. It seems to be a thing a lot of people are struggling with, but making um, my controllers work in uh, Lutris, well, in wine through Lutris is, is something of a problem, um, but uh, I fix this by using anti-micro. Um, wow, there's flickering on the video there. I hope that's not, oh man, we'll just minimize that. We'll just minimize that, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I use anti-micro. Anti-micro, I'll put a description for, the link in the description. Um, it's a program that just basically goes, you push that button on your controller, we'll push this button on the keyboard for you. Um, it's, it's not perfect. And it's defunct now. I believe I don't believe it's, it's still under constant development. But honestly, I, I it works for me. Like it's it's like the thing that works the most reliably for me. And I don't know anyone has problems with it. It's a great little application which I really, really, really like. Um, so with that said, let's have a little look see at uh, the game, shall we? I'm using the Xbox 360 controller because uh, I like the tough stick, and I felt like I was oh going to abuse it. I made myself a pink character who had a bobbly head and. Uh, and call cool outfit and I'm just dying because I need to focus on what I'm doing. So let's focus. Let's get this. Let's get this right. Let's let's go. Let's go. Oh sh <laughs> Okay, the uh, basic principle of the game is you press X to attack. I just this is this is this is not this is not I'm usually better than this. 
I'm usually better than this. There you go. Oh my god, he's gonna win this one, isn't he? He's just he's just abusing me. He's just abusing me. Um, I finished this game actually. Um, I played the. There you go. Let's. Uh, we got a bit. We got a bit more of a chance now. Come on, come on. No, no, he got me again. How, oh, how did he get me again? Oh, he just went through the screen. He didn't get me. There you go. Yeah. So it's basically a tug of war. Um, it, <laughs> fucking hell, I'm just getting abused. Um, it's basically a tug of war. Every time I pass a screen. Wow. Okay. Final stage. Let's. Uh, shit. Shit. No, there you go. Every time I get killed, the arrow lights up in my favor, and I control the screen movement. So uh, now I can keep running. And if I see him on screen, I can actually run past him at this point. Oh, no, he got me. And now he controls the screen. You see the arrow is on his side of the screen, which is which seems simple. But this tug of war means you can be stuck sort of in the middle for way longer, <laughs> for way longer than you need to be. And basically, whoever gets to the end screen and gets eaten by the dragon that's totally not a penis... Um, is the one that wins is the one that wins and then you go on to the next area uh it's really designed to be played with friends it's not a game that's designed to really be played um single player the single player is about an hour but i finished it in i think an hour and 10 minutes but honestly i think if i had more skills i would have i would have got through it a lot faster than that um the controls are and i've mapped it based on the official mappings that are found oh <laughs> that are found in the menu um i've got x to attack a to jump um and then i've used direction keys and uh that's it that's really it. That's all the controls you need to know. And you can push up. You can push up and A to throw your sword or whatever weapon you have. Other weapons are introduced as you go through the game. I just got stabbed in the head. That was... Wow, that was that was not that was not cool. <laughs> you just sort of stood there as well. Not cool. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really simple game. I've really enjoyed it. And again, I, I've played the whole thing through in wine. So I can tell you for certain it works. The menu lags for some reason, which I can't quite work out. Shit, I just threw my sword. Uh, the menu lags anyway for some reason, which I can't quite work out why the menu lags. Um, but it's... There you go. Shit, shit, shit. There you go. There you go. Did it. Uh, the, the menu. Once you get past the menu, though, the game runs flawlessly. I'm not quite sure why the menu lags, but it does. Um, but once you pass that, yeah, you're fine. And I've, again, I've played the whole game through uh, the, sing, through the, the arcade stuff, um, single player. And I've had no problems whatsoever. Um... Yeah, entirely. All the areas look great. The, uh, the, there's no caveats at all. It just works great for there. Now, the game itself. What do I think of the game itself? I think it's a lot of fun, as I've said. I think it's huge amounts of fun. Um, people talk about the art style being distracting. That's kind of the point, though. I think it's, it's really engaging and fun, and there's lots of stuff to look at and to distract you. from. It, it's just stuff that's designed to distract you from the actual game, which is great because it's trying to pull your attention away. And if, if you're not paying attention... You won't, you won't finish it. Basically, you won't finish. It. I think I'm going to finish this. I think I'm actually going to get to the end of this, uh, of this section now. There you go, yay, yay! I'm not going to fall into flames and kill myself. Oh shit! I really want to, I really want to finish this in the video. We want to just finish this one, this one, uh, this one area. You know, just shit. What, why did my character just walk in the air then? I don't know what that's about. Um, I think with, uh, I haven't played it yet in two player, but I can't see how it won't be fun. Oh, there you go, stamping on the guy's head. I see no way in how this game won't be huge amounts of fun with friends. And uh, you can obviously just, like, I'm using anti-micro, so there's absolutely no reason why I can't just map two controllers. And I think that's a Care Bear here. I think that's a dead Care Bear, but I'm not sure. I, lo I love Care Bears as a kid. There you go. I got eaten by the dragon. Hence, I won. That's that's how this game works. And there's a, there's a few different, I think it's like five or six different areas. Oh, let's have a look. They're all in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine areas, nine areas. Um, and there's a spinny castle. And then you play the next area. They're all, they're not starkly different, but the color tones are different. Um, and they're all, again, they're just scenery, really, to keep you happy while you're, um, there you go. Yay. They're just scenery to keep you happy while you're uh, playing. Oh, shit. I should have just run under the bridge, really, and avoided him. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a fun game. It's a fun game, definitely. Shit, shit. I'm getting. See, I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to do this and not look completely incompetent. So um, there you go. I'll just I'll just crawl under him and stab him. <laughs> so I'm trying to talk and not look incompetent is really really hard. Uh, hey, hey, I'm looking more competent now. I feel better now. Inside the worm. This, oh, there's there's one where you go inside one of these and you're inside the worm. Um, which is crazy. There's no health bars to worry about either, which is nice. You just sort of take a hit and you die or don't die. So you get stabbed, you die, you get punched, you don't die. Take about three or four punches before you die. Wow, look. I made this one look easy, didn't I? I actually, like... Sh <laughs> oh, shit. I just, I just fell into a river. Oh, but he just held the sword. That was his whole method. Just hold the sword in the air. Um, you can see, as, as I've always said this as well, um, getting distracted by a game... 
while I'm trying to make a video is probably the biggest compliment I can give to it. And this feels great. Um, I did try playing it on keyboard and uh, keyboard, uh, keyboard and mouse on keyboard. Um, it it works okay. I mean, like it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but it's uh, I know it just feels so much nicer on a controller. It feels like it's supposed to be on a controller. And the lack of depth to the combat is almost the point. Um, you can't do a lot. If someone swings first, if someone's faster than you, it's kind of like it's not supposed to be taken as a serious fighting game. Even though there's a lot more depth than you may first realise in this, um, I don't think I don't think it's supposed to be taken as a serious like sword fighting simulator. It is just sort of prodding and jumping, really. But um, it's I don't know it's it, they've done sort of what they intended to do. I don't feel like there's any mechanics missing, and there's like there's no parry. I just fell down the gap. That was shocking. That was that was shocking. Um, Oh, he just he held it low that time. He held it low. God damn it. There's a, yeah, the lack of the lack of depth to it, I don't think, is any way against it. And it's basically just fun. It's just a fun game to, to just run around and stab things and uh, try and get eaten by a worm, which is, yeah. I just did it again. Man, that, that gap is just a wanker. So I can I can consistently kill him in the gap, but I I, uh, I can't I can't survive it. Let's see if we just convince him to fall off the end. Yeah, final screen next. I'm hopefully not. I'm hopefully going to make it. He's going to do two in this one video. Such great colours. Genuinely great colours. Oh, crap. Um, if there is any um, stuttering on the wine recording, I would say that is definitely on the recording. I think the game is the game's running beautifully for me, but I'm just looking at my preview now. And it doesn't quite look as smooth on the preview, which is unfortunate if it is like that. Because it really shouldn't be. It's it's you know, it's it's really it's really smooth um here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to run at 30 or 60, but either way, I've not felt that it's did like I've not felt that it's pulled away from my uh, experience at all. And I've enjoyed it, basically. I've enjoyed it start to finish. So hopefully this will be the next screen. And then I'm just going to keep running. I'm just, my plan is just to keep running. Just keep... There you go. Eaten by a worm. Victory. Yes. It's totally not a unicorn penis. It's. I don't even know what the joke is there, if I'm honest. Um, I think it's even got balls back there because it, it's like coming off. The, I don't even know what this is about. So I've been HexDSL. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, you'll come again next week. It's supposed to be Domino today. Next week will be Domino. I'm certain of it. Um, and you think I know really. So thanks for watching. Don't forget you can like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And uh, if you would like to, you can help me out on Patreon by becoming a Patreon supporter. That really does help me out because YouTube have been screwing me with the ad stuff recently. And I'm not getting my pizza money for doing this. Bye.